Hello everybody, let's go into game number four. And the score at the moment is... Let me lower that. Uh, the score at the moment... One day I'll remember to just have that lowered. One day. The score at the moment is uh, two to one. My friend is bleeding. I am trailing with a, uh, a pretty decisive victory in that last match. I was able to make some good decisions and um, choose some good places to attack and with some good force field placement and some pretty good micro. I'm not going to say that it's the best. not going to say it's the worst though. I've seen some pretty bad micro. Guys, do not ever 1A move, like attack move Templar. I've seen that happen so many times. People just move their Templar across the screen and it's like, wow dude, you know they can't attack, right? You need to press the storm button. Anyway, um, yeah, I was able to uh, claw my way back in that game after um, he took out my army in front of his base and uh, yeah, so it was a good game. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And we'll see what happens in this game. Loser picks map, so he picked the Shattered Temple, which I am not fond of. I Honestly, I know that Lost Temple, the, the original one with the, um, the high ground right here, favored Terran a lot, but I like the layout of the middle a lot more because um, it just looked better in my opinion. This, this kind of looks... Uh, Kind of, kind of lame. Kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan. I, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not digging it. Not digging it at all. But uh, we're gonna be scouting. This isn't MLG, so we can spawn anywhere. And uh, I'm gonna be scouting up here and immediately see. Hey, there's no one here. Time to turn around. Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just chill there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he's a little bit more on the ball with the scouting. Or not. He'll, he'll just chill too. Yeah. Usually the pros will just sneak their probe in and see. You know, they won't see anybody um, on the mineral field. And they'll be like, whoop, bye. They won't actually go to the center. So, yeah, we'll scout each other last, which is okay. I'll see the second pylon going down, which is important. It means there's no cheese happening at the moment. Uh, gateway's done, and that's okay. Mine should be done, too. So our, our, our production should be pretty even. I think my cybernetic score, a little bit... Uh, that's his. Oops, embarrassing. My cybernetic score is a little bit behind his. That's okay. Why did I attack my own gateway, you may ask? Because I am bad at micro. That's why. And uh, he's chasing me around. That's um. I don't know if I agree with that. Like I said, it brings down your income because uh, now you have two less workers mining. So now it's pretty much tied with me on income. And um, as I catch up in worker count, I'll be able to start passing him because I am not chasing him. Uh, it's okay, you know. A lot of Protoss, they are so scared of that pylon going down, but you know what? Warp Gate doesn't finish until maybe the 5 or 6 minute mark, the 6 minute mark on for Bros, you know? So, don't worry about it, you know? There's still, um, you know, how, how long does this take to research? Does, does it say right there? Evolve, whatever, whatever, it takes forever, a long time, 140 seconds, I think, or 160 now, with the new patch. Now, um... He's going to be throwing down, uh, I like his pylon placement. He has really good building placement. This, I do not like. This is really early for a second assimilator, unless you're going for a three-gate fast expand, in which case, you kind of need to throw your three guys into the gas. Um, yeah, see, uh, I'm sacrificing my, my mineral intake for a better gas intake, because my plan is, you know what? Three-gate fast expand on this map is pretty good. This little choke is pretty nice, and then this is kind of wide. So maybe it's not the best for sentry force fields, but the three gates allow you to get enough units, not necessarily sentries, to um, defend and still get a very early nexus compared to a four gate all pressure situation. Now he went for that stalker to deny scouting, to deny scouting, sorry, one day I'll talk clearly. And he's throwing down a robo, a robo and a, and a, and a gateway, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, he finally put guys on gas. That's good. Maybe he timed that. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for the straight three gate. My warp gate is done, but of course. How bad I am. That was like seven seconds without warp gate. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm basically just scouting for pylons. You know what? I don't want pylons. So I, you know, I know that my first zealot pops out way before warp gate is done. So I just always send him to scout all these areas for pylons. And got some sentries, got my nexus on the way already, which is great. That's a really good time nex nexus at the 6 minute and 30 mark. That's terrific. That is a terrific nexus. I'm happy with past Luke, he did a good job. 
um, uh, warping in more units, just continuing to keep my keep my warping coming in pretty steadily. And once my nexus goes up, I'm actually going to throw down some more some more gateways, I suppose. Now he's going for another style of expand, which is you get the heavier units, the stalker and the and the and the zealot, and you get less sentries. Now I saw that, so I know that his nexus could not be as early as mine because he spent so much more money, more minerals. He spent Instead of just 50 minerals on a sentry, he spent, you know, 100 minerals extra here. Um, this is the initial uh, zealot, so he spent an extra 100 minerals. So his has got to be at least 20 seconds behind mine, which is great. In the meantime, I know he's getting his third gate, his third nexus. So you know what? I may as well just take out the rocks. I have all these sentries just waiting around on my base. Um, yeah, I know I'm not in much threat of attack at the moment, so I'm okay to just sit here and take these out. Uh, throwing down some more uh, Forge, Twilight Council, I love my Blink, I love my Blink guys, that's that's my that's my thing. He's got his Observer, he's scouting me out, he sees the saturation. If you look at the Income tab, which we were already looking at, I am still behind in Workers. Damn, damn he is good with his Workers. God, Mitch, you are, you are good with your Workers, man. Um, putting I think one too many? No. Good, good. And just barely now when, when this starts to get saturated, that's when I start warping in the stalkers. I, I really, you know, um, I really, I really prefer to wait for my nexus to be up and running before I start doing anything fancy. And he's going to be scouting freely because I do not have a robo, therefore I do not have detection other than cannons, which that's a cannon going down in the front. And I think I'm going to throw down another one in the back. Um, so many times I've lost because I throw down a ton of cannons in the front, like this, and then, uh, you know, Terran drops off a, a medic back full of marauders and just, just decimates my mineral line. But, uh, I'm going to go for that plus one armor because I'm trying to play defensively. And going to go for that uh, blink because I love my blink. Now let's see what my friend's doing here. He's going for his, um, I guess he really likes this mix of immortal, stalker, uh, zealot sentry. That's a good mix. You you just have to be careful um, against sen uh, sentries because sentries will just they will, will they will stop this because this only has a range of five. So the stalkers will still be able to shoot, but the immortals will be stuck in the back, not doing anything, and the zealots will be pretty much useless. Meanwhile, the sentries don't have all that much. Oh, they do have the same as a stalker. Wow, did not know that. Um, yeah, so his saturation is looking good, probably better than mine, definitely better than mine, by a lot. I think I'm cutting workers, but I'm not quite sure why, what am I doing to cut workers? Throwing down another, this is my robo, that's good. Um, just a lot of sentries here, just for a lot of force fields. Even though I took out these rocks, it doesn't mean you have to take the third base right away. Um, just act patiently, don't be too overzealous. Uh, I'll try to take it around the 12 minute mark, my nice time so He's going for Colossus. Got his forge in the front. See, this is another problem. We, we really don't want to be giving this away so easily. Just, I can send a worker right here and immediately click on this and see, hey, a Colossus tech on the way. Meanwhile, I'm throwing down two more gateways, so I'm concentrating on a very gateway heavy army. Um, I have my robo. I think mostly for the observer, maybe some immortals. Not sure if I'm going for Colossus right away. He has good map control. He has a zealot on the watchtower, so he can see if I'm pushing out. Um, I think he was scouting with the probe earlier. Some of these bases. I'm not really scouting. My my observer is just kind of chilling here. Uh, first, I was a little bit worried of DTs, but now that that threat is gone, there's like a timing window. Um, now that I have my cannons up and my observers out, I'm just going to go ahead and poke out with my observer before I move out with my army. And his observer is going to come in and start seeing what's happening here. I don't know what he's going to, how far he's going to get because that. Remember, the cannon has a a, a long detection range. So the minute he gets within range, my stalkers, yeah, decimate that thing. Now, where did my observer go? One, one day. Oh, I'm going to go for a behind. I'm going to go for blink. Oh, he saw those stalkers moving. I don't know if he'll be ready for this. So shift Q blinking to get in and going all the way around. Of course, going for the lane gateways. Why am I doing that? But, uh, wow. Wow, that was a total misstep. Why did I stop at the gateway? But I'm able to take out a couple of these 
probes, that's pretty good. I'm bringing down the, the harvester count, trying to even it out. He is so far ahead. My goodness. Oh, and his army is here to cut me off from my retreat. Oh, luckily, stalkers with their magic blinking ability. I love you, stalkers. Meanwhile, at the front, distraction time, my sentries are going to come in and start decimating this area. Um, defensive force fields to keep zealot from attacking people alone. And I'm just going to fall back, just using that to distract his army, keep his army a little bit at bay, keep him a little bit preoccupied. You know, he has to be at two places at once. Um, yeah, and just, uh, oh no, am I engaging? <gasps> I'm engaging. Oh no, my sentries, what am I doing? Why am I throwing away sentries? Oh, they were full of energy. Oh, brutal. Production tab, I am taking my third dose, so I am RTS. Good RTS timing, I attack him, I'm scaring him a little bit, take my third. The high yield third, I, I don't know if he's taken his rocks out yet, but I don't think so. We'll see pretty soon. Um, I haven't scouted that. Moving into the middle to scout, um, take control of the watchtower. Now that I'm taking my third, it becomes more important to keep my units not here, not in front of my natural, but keep them more here and here, and maybe have a few units up here uh, near the nat near the watchtower to see when he's pushing out. And uh, gonna go ahead and just secure the watchtower. Meanwhile, my my opponent here, uh, he's got his colossus up, so that's kind of scary. Got a bunch of idle workers here, though. That's not that good. Wh where are these workers going? What's going on? What's happening? I don't know, there's an idle worker party over there. And um, yeah, he needs to be a little bit more um, open with his pylon placement. Maybe spread him. Spread him more, you know? Uh, spread more down here. You know, he's putting up cannons, he's afraid. Maybe he should put up a pylon back here to check for drops. A few pylons back here. Maybe just a cannon back here or two. That'll deny my stalkers from doing all that much. Maybe one or two cannons back here. This is not. I don't know. I don't know about his placement of cannons and pylons. That's something that I, I think um, he should work on. Wow, a stray colossus! What is this? That did I not see that? What just happened? Why didn't I go after that colossus? I don't know, but I have a lot of immortals, and my third base is up. See, I like to place my cannons near my mineral line to protect. This cannon can protect pretty much this area, and this thing can protect this area. So this is pretty good cannon placement. One here would be better. Um, this is a pretty good cannon placement, it can pretty much protect this whole line. And right here, not the best can cannon placement, he can drop right here and like, pick off some, some workers. Now he's going to be taking out his backdoor rocks, which is good, it's good, it gives him, um, it gives him uh, the ability to take his, his, his third. And I'm going to have my observer here to check to see when that goes down. Now he's queuing up a lot of these pylons and his, his money is slipping really badly at the moment. Is he still on, he's still on 4 gate and 1 uh, robo. He's barely now throwing down some more gateways. Uh, and the twilight council. I don't know if I agree with that. A second forge, I don't know if I agree with that either. It's a little bit too much stuff. Um, yeah, you have money in the bank, but really don't... Don't try to blow your money immediately, you're throwing it away. Just, um, you know, just make wise building decisions. I'm throwing down three more gateways because I know I have my high yield. I can support more than uh, one, two, three. I had three gateways and all oh, my Stargate and my Robo. So now I'm going to go for that deadly White Ross style, Duckload Ross style, Void Ray Colossus. Pick. I love this Void Ray Colossus. It is just so powerful because there's so much he has to worry about. If the Void Rays get charged up, then they do so much damage per second. So he has to focus them down, but that means that the Colossus are doing massive damage. Um, it just it distracts my opponent so badly. Uh, he's going for his extended Thermal Lance. Um, he's had Colossus for a while. I'm surprised he had, hadn't had the Thermal Lance already. And oh no! Oh, there's so many stalkers. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I do not have... I don't think I have Blink. I should have blinked my stalkers back and let my zealots go to the front. But the zealots aren't doing anything. Meanwhile, the stalkers are going to town on my Void Rays and my stalker town. My uh, Colossus is not doing all that great at the moment. I decide it's time to get the heck out of here. Let him take that watchtower. I'm regrouping. Uh, the problem is that when you stack your units like that, all these are taking splash damage from the, from the Colossus. Meanwhile, I'm trying to keep the Colossus and Void Ray together and alive. Keep them doing as much damage as possible, but oh no. 
Oh no, I think I'm gonna lose my army here. Oh, I'm down 2-1. If I lose this game, it's over. And I'm, oh, why am I reinforcing? This is a bad idea. I should just fall back. I don't know about this. I think he can take me. I think that, um, how are my upgrades doing at the moment? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I can't click on anything. Everything of mine died. Okay, everything of mine died right now. And uh, I have 1-1 one, one upgrade for armor and attack. He has 1-1, one, one, so we're tied in armor. Now, I don't think I have charge. So right now, I don't have charge, so he can tight the zealots away with the stalker. And he can engage the cannons. Not the best idea. I think he should have just pressed for the natural. It would have forced me to divide my army. And it just would have been a hassle. Um, he's not throwing down his nexus, though. Uh, he could be throwing down his nexus now while he's putting all this pressure, but I guess he he forgot. My macro is starting to slip, his macro is slipping, and I don't know what I can do other than just hold back with my army. I pulled them so far back so that he won't go after them, and uh, just trying to mine out this area as quickly as possible. And oh, if he pushes right now, I think it's over. Honestly, I think it's over if he pushes. I have some units split here. If he pushes this area, it's over. If he pushes down here, it's over. But he allowed me time to put my units together. How are my upgrades doing? 2-1. How are his upgrades doing? 2-1 as well. Now, he has a more aggressive army, and he went for more aggressive opening. I'm surprised he went for that 2 armor instead of 2 attack. It's kind of surprising to me, but if we look at the supply difference here, he has a massive supply difference. However, our probe count for the first time in the series is even... Aw, oh, dang, he passed me. Touché, man, touché. So let's look at the APM here, what's happening. Um, I am frantic. God, that void ray is so close to those units. Why am I doing that? Yeah, I think I realized that, and it's like, uh, maybe I should fall that void ray back. Just a little bit. But I'm what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to buy time, get a bunch of stalkers, and just wait. Now, here's my clutch maneuver. Hey, you know what? I know you have observers, but you know what's also good? Dark Templars are good anyway. So I'm throwing down my Dark Shrine, trying to hold back as much as possible to wait for that Dark Shrine to finish. Meanwhile, I'm engaging in a situation that's pretty good for me. It, it opens my units up in a line so there's not as much splash damage. His uh, Zealots can't do as much damage. They have to run around. And I'm reinforcing with just cheap Zealots because I'm trying to save my gas for those Dark Templar. My Dark Templar Shrine takes forever to finish, and oh my goodness, I have nothing left. I have a Colossus. Guys, I have a Colossus left. He has two Colossus and a million billion Stalkers. Meanwhile, he's attacking with Stalkers down here. He's got more reinforcements. Pylon over here. Oh, he's going into my main to take out. Oh no, my Stargate. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, guys. I think this is the end of the series. And oh, I have some Dark Templar coming in. I have some Dark Templar. I think he has an Observer, though. I think he, he does not have an Observer. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be epic. Oh, can, if I can kill his army. Oh, my goodness. But I only have two Dark Templar. Uh, I have six. Where are the other ones? Where are my other DTs? Oh, they're taking out Colossus. Oh, my goodness. Run down there, DTs. I need you down there right now. Oh, oh my goodness, I was able to stop it. Guys, I held off the attack. I know that I am so far behind at the moment. Oh my god, what can I do? He, he doesn't have an observer yet. Why is he not making an observer? Let me silence that for a second. Um, he, he, he's, not, he's not making an observer. Uh, he's making an observer. Okay, okay. So, uh, sorry about that, my phone was ringing, it was totally, totally a hassle. Let's, um, I think it's time to eat, I'll be downstairs in a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I'm just hiding my Dark Templar, oh, he has his third base up. Income tab, oh, my worker count just decimated. I don't know what I can do, I'm thinking a fourth out of desperation, and you know what I decide to do? Mass. Robo. I am so far behind, I know I need to take my 4th base. I'm almost saturating, I almost mined out at my gold expansion. I need to take a 4th base, and you know what I need? I need lots of Robo, lots of uh, Colossus and Immortals, and not as many Gateway units. So my transition was going to be just straight up out-muscle out him at this moment. My army size is going to be way smaller, but way more powerful. 
And um, if he gives me enough time to do this, then yes, I will be able to do it. And now I'm moving in up at the top, which is a bunch of Dark Templar just trying to take out as much of this as possible, trying to deny him from his third. I know that if I can keep him from his third, he's going to be so out of money that he's not going to be able to do much about it. So I'm just going straight for the Nexus, not even worrying about the about the probe line. I'm just going to go straight for the Nexus, and then I just fall back and as observers, I can fall back immediately. Okay, I did not fall back immediately. So... So yeah. So, that's the thing, you know? Hold on, let me, let me send, uh... Let me send... They keep calling me and I... Sorry about that, never mind. Screw that. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm moving out to the middle of the field, I just have some little bit of stalkers. I don't really have a big army. I don't have anything really and I'm trying to get out Colossus. Here comes the three Robo Colossus with uh, five, six, looks like seven gateway support. Do I have any more? Eight, nine gateway support off of four bases. I should be able to support not that many Robos but enough to get up a high Colossus count and um, in the meantime I'm trying to keep him busy, trying to keep him pinned back he has his army back here. He's waiting for this base because he's mined out again. This happened to him in the last game where he got mined out. Oh, he has so many idle workers. His income tab is nothing. He can't produce right now. His production tab is just that nexus. He doesn't have enough money for anything else. And his army size... His army size is 105 and I am caught up with my massive stalker colossus ball. And here comes some more units. Oh my goodness. This could be like the comeback of my life, to be honest with you, if I pull this off. But I'm giving him too much time. I think he's having enough time. This is almost done. As soon as this is done, his production is going to skyrocket because he has so many workers. He can saturate that immediately. And um, I've stopped production at 48 for I have no idea what reason. Probably because I suck. And um, at this point, what I should be doing is uh, taking out my backdoor rocks and setting up another expansion, but no, I decide to go for the open expansion here, and um, decide to go for this and make the little bunny here, um, and yeah, just, just flank, just open up and uh, try to force him to attack one side, and that gives me the opportunity to attack him on the other side. Now he is so oversaturated here, um, if I were him I would try to take out these rocks, but his units are so scared to move out, I think he's worried about Dark Templar. But I think he has observers, so I don't know. If I were him, I would have just pushed out and just taken these rocks out a long time ago. I have my observer here. I know he's coming. I know what he's going to do. So you know what? I see his army size, and I raise you a million billion Colossus Stalker. And I have charge. I don't. I do have blink, and I have charge now. So I should be able to blink on top of the, the Colossus and take them out. And I'm able to get one out if I'm able to get the second one. Oh my goodness, I have so many zealots. So many zealots and stalkers. I'm able to take this out and one... Okay, I take out his void wave too. Now he's going to try and reinforce here. This is not a good idea. Fall back. Yeah, do, do not engage that. Just That's not a good idea with such a small force. Meanwhile, I'm still producing more Dark Templar Immortal and five... Oh no, the... The unit tab, silly. I'm producing just another Nexus. Oh, my Nexus is done. Awesome. Oh, I'm blo I'm broke. No wonder. Uh, yeah. So I am pretty much done here. With um, these minerals are almost out. These minerals are almost out. And most of my probes are working except for that one. Um, yeah. So now I decide. You know what? I took out his ability. He doesn't have. He can't take out a, a gold yet. So let me just go over here and make sure he doesn't have these fourth base. Um, yeah, and that should be good. Um, and I'm just gonna try to push up here for his third. And if I, I know if I can take this out, he's out of the game. Now he's going for the Templar Shrine, um, Templar Archive. He's gonna go for Storm to try to deal with those, with those zealots, which is a good choice. It's a really good choice. But I don't think he has enough time for that. I, I, I think that if he would have canned that, I'd just gone for mass, mass, blink stalker, all, all micro, maybe he would have pulled it off. But his army size is just minuscule at the moment. His army size is 66 to 173, and he gives the GG, and I am able to take it. And now we are tied two to two. 
Oh my goodness, what an intense match. I think he would have had me if he would have kept pressing, but the clutch three or four DTs that came down here were, were the, the turning point in the match, and from there, it was able to buy me enough time while he got detection to to get up a double expand and mass mass robo. So let's go on to the ace match, game five, and we will see what happens. It is tied up two to two. Thanks, guys.